We're at Powerhouse Dance Competition in Philadelphia, and I am really worried. The competition is tough. They're gonna have to battle their way to the top. Oh, this is neat. This is like Dungeons and Dragons. Jill's right. We're all in the dungeon, and Abby's the dragon. I want you girls to be strong. People should be on their feet cheering when they see that flag come out. Save your tears for the pillow. Aisha was crying in the dressing room the other night. Not because I yelled at her. Yeah, because you never yell at her. <laughs> I know that Aisha was crying in the dressing room. I mean, it's, it's really not my business, but I wanted Abby to know. Jill, I can't believe you were tattletailing on a seven-year-old. Oh, I didn't tattletale. I wanted her mom to explain. I can't believe Jill, a grown woman, is tattletailing on a seven-year-old. Jill, we all know who the crybaby on the team is. Yeah, well, you you keep reminding everybody. Do you do any crazy, like, leg catch turns and, like, that kind of jazz or not really? Yes? Let me see. A hopeless shade of blue. We need, yeah, something pretty. Just like the rain. They're still trying to figure out what she can and can't do. Well, it's really good that she's taking the time with her that will help her in creating a solo. Yeah, that's good. That is yeah. good. Now, what amazing leg thing can you do with the right? It's going to be a challenge for Daviana to pick up this choreography and then get out there and perform just like she performed that other solo that beat Kalani. She had months to work on that one. Let's see how she handles the pressure. OK, you guys are finished. Go work, but you need to talk about the story. You need to feel the rain coming down on you. You need to be sad. You need to be emotional because she's going to capture it with her face. Like all that stuff that we did on the floor for Kalani, she's going to make it look easy. You're not making it look easy. This is going to be the showdown everyone's been waiting for. Who's going to be number one? I don't know. It's a head game right now with these two. Are we done? No, Are you sure? Yeah, dentro. Okay. Okay. Abby is giving Daviana an ultimatum. You win or you go home. That's what she said. That's how much pressure she's putting on her. So she's really upset. Why are you upset? Because her solo is obviously going to win. Don't you think it's all in your head? No. If I'm seeing it, it's obviously not all in my head. Abby, it's only the first 20 it seconds. It doesn't matter. The first 20 seconds of my solo last year were amazing. Remember when you beat her already? Was it so hard? I could do everything that she does and more. So if she had my solo, she wouldn't be able to do seven turns into an aerial. But I could do everything that she does, and my solo is easier. It's set up to lose. Tutti parlano dietro a lei. Anche te devi dirgli quello che ti va e quello che non funziona. Certo. She's very competitive. She gets it from her brothers. She wants to win. I have to help Daviana any way I can. Tomorrow, I'll talk to Abby. I'll handle her tomorrow. Hi, Miss Abby. Hey. Hi, What's Daviana up? wants to talk to you about yesterday. I feel like Kwame's solo is a little bit more challenging than mine. And I was wondering if you could change the difficulty. I think you're nuts. She's rolling around on the floor. You did, what, four turns into a side aerial? You can't do that. I mean, I don't need to explain myself to a 14-year-old. This is ridiculous. I'll be damned. Nobody is telling me what to do anymore. Why would I go out on a limb and try to make her dance better than yours? Kalani walked out on me. You have the upper hand. You have to sit in front of the mirror, and you need to sell this number. I already feel like she's winning. Why? I just felt that way because her choreography just runs smoother and the stuff that you give her, I feel like it fits her better than the stuff that you're giving me. Well, we don't know you that well. I've been working with her for five years. If you could take all this emotion that you have right now and put it into the dance, you'll win. Does that make sense now? Is it better? And now you should be worried if saying something offended us. Let's go. I think the kid has a lot of talent, but she can't let them see her sweat. Daviana, shades of blue, not shades of boohoo.
Look around. Let us look at you. And then, like, up, down. Up, down. Right now, I think they're a little bit nervous because Yachty's not used to learning a dance in two days and putting it on stage. So I hope that he doesn't hold her back when it comes down to getting this done and getting it ready to perform. So you need to get her straight up higher. Use your arms. Go. Uh, you're not in character. You're not getting it. Do something. She's doing nothing. Again. That's what's bad, it's the acting. Yeah, you don't want to do it. It's obvious. You're not getting excited and into kicking this guy's butt. Maddie would be like, because I don't want to go out there and look like an idiot and not win. And I'm never going to let Kendall be, ever. That's what we go through her mind. Bryn is doing amazing with the lyrical part, but the ending part, the fight scene, she's having a hard time being mean. And that's what we're trying to pull out that actress in her. It's good. I like it. That was part of it. There's so many things. Homesick, you know, and it just builds, and it's like she just can't get in her head. She can do this. Thank you. We'll do it. We'll get through it. Bryn is anxious about the duo. She is overwhelmed, and she's sad, and she's stressed, and she just is having a hard time coping with everything that's going on this week. I need to go to the bathroom for a second. We're all gonna make fun of me. Let's go. Tell me. Tell me what's going on. This is really awkward. I mean, you don't know what to do. It's awkward. Get every opportunity handed to you and then cry about it. We should just not do the duo then. Just be like, then you don't have a duo. That's fine. Yeah, if you don't like, you know what? How many times has Abby said, if you don't like it, don't do it? Don't do it. You're out. You, Done. Yeah. Now they're all practicing the group, and she's not even in there practicing the group. This is the new beginning. You get to be a baby. You need to think of it like you're acting, sweetie. You're just this acting, you no, know? I can't do that. Yes, you can. I don't want to hear Kim. I don't want to hear Kim. We're in here doing the group. She's in the bathroom That's crying about her duo. That's what's wrong. Like, That's what's wrong. Fair. Come on. Hey, you guys know we're doing the group right now, right? All the other kids are in there doing the group? You're on the team, aren't you? The team's in there dancing. Why are you coming to her instead of Gianna? Because Gianna's working with the girls I know, and the boys. Why, why aren't you telling her everyone's in there? Why is this that. okay? I didn't know Why that. is she bawling and it's okay? Because she's beautiful and wonderful and skinny and like her. Kendall got her duo taken away because stop. she did that crap. Stop. No, I'm not going to stop. It's ridiculous. Kids are practicing their dancing for you, for your name. Let's go, now, we gotta get on the bus. Jesslyn is the meanest mom on the team. She did not have to come but in. I don't know why she cares about me so much. Cause seriously, why does she? She doesn't have to. She always is talking about me and I don't know why. Miss Abby gave me some really good advice from a long time ago. She said, you can't listen to what the other moms say. She said that I need to stick up for myself and not let the other moms walk over me. I'm very glad that Abby has my back. You have to perform to the music. If you have to fight him, you look like you're fighting him. If you have to be in love with him, you look like you're in love with him. That's all I want you to do. Can you do it? Yeah. Bryn, you can. You're good at this. You've been doing this since you were two years old. I don't know why you're doubting yourself all of a sudden. Can you just show my headpiece? Okay. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? You are good? You're really good? Or you are sure? You can. Bryn didn't want to do this duet from the get-go. She spent the day crying in the bathroom. And now Yachty is looking a little bit nervous. Maybe this duet is doomed. So Bryn is better about the choreography now? She's fine. She's ready to go. Good. Because, you know, Bryn had a pouty face the entire rehearsal. She was unhappy. And the last time, you pulled Kendall from the number when she was unhappy for a, a better reason, I think. Well, I think they all need a good swift kick in the bottom. Okay, then why didn't you give Brynn a swift kick I in the bottom? I did. I went in the bathroom and said, get out. Let's go. No, you didn't. You enabled it. I mean, come on, Abby. You think it's OK that she was hiding in the bathroom yesterday. You're justifying it. You have no idea 
what was going on. It doesn't matter. So Brain can just cry in the bathroom and the other girls can go rehearse the group number. You were taking time out crying with your daughter to Abby when our kids needed to learn their dance. That's ridiculous if you're okay with that. You don't know what was said in that bathroom. You have no clue. Why would I open up and let you know what's going on with my kid? You're the only one that consistently is rude to her and nobody says anything. No one was rude to your child. She was! No, she was not. You stood there and mocked her for crying and she was nope. standing yeah. there right no, there. No, I said she should come and practice the group dance with the rest of the team you're that absolutely she's on. You're right. That's what I was doing. I know it's right. your I know it's right. It was your place. It is your place. I care it's about the team. your kid. You don't care about the team. Keep that nose away from her, bitch. This was our week to focus on our girls and our team and our new beginnings. Instead, we're focused on why Bryn's crying. Everybody's focus has shifted, and that can't happen. Please welcome to the stage entry number 25, Scary Sweetheart. Entry number 25, please come to the stage. What are we waiting for? Yachty is nervous. I understand this has been a stressful week, but Yachty cannot pull out of this duet because I need him. She no one like it. Rin? Yeah. Oh, she needs to do it. But she no one. They should do it. They're doing it. I can go try to make my 12-year-old dance. Oh God, I yeah, don't know. All these kids in here are waiting. Everyone's waiting. Ridiculous. How did I talk to you? Remember when you're crying in the bathroom and everybody attacked you? They're going to attack you over not doing it again. He says he's good to go. They said you didn't want to do it. What? They said you were the one that didn't want to dance. Oh. That never happened. That never happened. The moms were saying that? Yeah. That never happened. That's ridiculous that they were saying that I didn't... No, 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 no. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. It just got miscommunicated, okay? There's a whole audience of people waiting. His mom came back and said that she, it was her that she didn't want to do. It's not my thing. She never said that. That never happened. There's a lot of confusion about Bryn and Yachty dancing. I got the facts. And just to clarify for everyone, Bryn was ready to dance. Yachty, he was too nervous to dance. And words got twisted. And I think the moms were a little overboard in attacking Bryn so quickly. You're dancing right now. Get ready. Places, calm down. You are going to make yourself sick, sweetheart. Suck it up right now. Pull it together. Okay. Number 25, Scary Sweetheart. Since I met you, all I can see in every direction is love. Now I may be lost, but I still believe this is perfection. Cause we're Jess is such a bitch. No matter what the moms say, 
I couldn't have asked for Brynn to do any better. I was so proud of her. These moms are trying to make me leave, make me quit, make me give up, but Brynn and I are both a lot tougher than we look. Jelly told me he said yes, but the girl, the Brynn, Brynn, he said me, okay, okay, but I talked to Brynn. Why did you tell he don't want the dance? You tell me. So, so I'm a little confused. I think yeah, that yeah, you I know mean, dance, okay. no dance. Yeah, you, that's you're not, that's okay. You know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah okay. it's all good. I think that we all know Brynn didn't like the dance. She didn't want to do it. Oh. So, I mean, also you're calling her a liar. I mean, that's no. really nice to do to your duet partner. Nice. No, I was calling you. I said what you were saying. Was I believe her. That's I what believe she just her. said. I believe I, I believe the kids. kids. Obviously, Yadi's mom doesn't speak very good English, but Jill and Jess are only hearing what they want to hear. Bryn is not the reason why the dance was delayed. I have been doing this long enough to know what jealousy looks like. And that's fine. They can be jealous, but they don't have to be mean to Bryn. Two conflicting stories. I'm not trying to make anything up. Why do we bother? I hope Bryn gets lots to do us this season because this is amazing. Let's go. I'm tired of it. Poor me, poor Bryn. Get over it. If you want to be a part of the team, start acting like a team member. Quit playing the victim. All right. Are you ready? First up is our elite team. Jess, Jill, Jelly, Brynn, Jelly, 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 Kendall and Bryn were given duets this week to challenge them as performers. But yet, this whole entire week was a challenge because all the moms fighting and bickering and the screaming and the yelling and the tears and the crying have an effect on these girls. And the sooner they realize that, the better off their kids are gonna be. In fourth place. Entry number 25. Fourth is always disappointing. Nobody ever goes out because they want to win fourth place. It's hard for Brynn to have her best performances when there's so much drama going on with the moms. She's never going to be on the dancer she can be if she's constantly having adults make her doubt herself and doubt her talent. <laughs> Brynn, no more tears. That goes for everyone. Just be consistent. I think we're asking you to be consistent with every single child. Not one, not three, and Jill, every one. Because sometimes some get away with things that another kid would never get away with, or a parent. Here's the thing, I like your new beginnings. I like that you want to be involved with everyone. I want to believe it, and I want it to happen. I don't want you to say one thing and do another thing. It's the inequalities with the way you treat the kids. Like, if Kendall was crying and didn't like her dance, you would take it away. I just feel that I've raised them more to be tougher. You're just making excuses. I'm not trying to make an excuse. I'm just saying they've been with me longer. They know how I am, and they know what is expected of them, period. Uh, the two of you, you want to explain what happened backstage? It's not a conspiracy, it's the opposite. But the mother told us differently, the mother! So she doesn't know the difference between boy and girl, that's what y'all are saying. Right, uh -huh. that's good, throw her under the bus. You know what? I wish I had a magic wand to help Ashley, but for years we've had to deal with Maddie being Abby's favorite and to have someone who hasn't been trained by Abby coming in and becoming her new Maddie is really difficult, especially for Jill but it's not Brent's fault. I hope you guys feel really good doing this to her, you know? Does it feel good, Joe? Does it feel good, Jess? I know, I know, it's always, listen, I'm leaving the premises because I am not responsible for your kid crying 